in this tutorial, I will be teaching you on how to set up a new layout for your J panel. That layout is called Grid Layout. In order to mess around with the J panel, we have to use this variable from the J panel object. And so l let's type in JP, and we're going to set up a layout for the J panels. So type in dot set layout. Open and close parentheses, and then inside this parentheses, we have to make an object which is new grid layout. Java doesn't know where to get this class from, so we have to tell Java that we're going to import a library so it will know where to get this class from. So now we have no more error. Inside of this parentheses, we have to type in two integers. The first one will be row, and the second one will be the column. So let's have two rows and four columns. We're going to use the J label and J button for this exercise. And my goal for this uh, window, I want the first row to be, con yeah, I want the first row to be all J label, and I want the last row to be all J buttons. So let's do J label, which is A equals new J label. We got this A from this variable over here, and we're going to set it to sample one. Make sure we add this to the J panel. So type in jp.add a semicolon. Now let's copy and paste all four J labels so we don't have to worry about writing it and make some kind of errors individually. So now we have four and now let's modify them. So this right here is going to be B, sample two, and B. C, sample three, or yeah, three. C. D, last one, four, and D. Now let's add the buttons. So now we have a row full of J labels. Now we're going to have rows, a row full of buttons. So type in E. We got this E from this J button equals new J button. Open close parentheses and type in button one. And let's add that to the J panel as well. Add E. Now let's copy and paste that. And the last one, four. And the reason why we don't have to type anything else to uh, change rows is because that we told Java that we we're going to have four columns. So that means that after the fourth uh, element, it will be in a new row. So button one will be on, this, on the second row, first column, and so on. So now let's modify these functions or syntax. So this right here, or no, this is going to be the same. This right, yeah, this one right here is going to be F. And this is going to be button two and F as well. G, three, and G. H, and the last button, four, and H. And now let's add the J panel onto the frame. So add J panel. And now let's run to see what it looks like. As you can see here, we have a row full of uh, labels and we have another row full of buttons. When we resize them, 
is the same thing. 